Jeremy Cook here for Embedded Computing Design. Today I'll be looking at an MLX90640 Portable Infrared Thermal Imaging Sensor. The device has a 24 by 32 pixel thermal resolution and can measure between negative 30 and 200 degrees Celsius, which is negative 22 to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a 1000 milliamp hour built-in rechargeable battery and it features internal image storage for transfer to a PC. While the thermal resolution leaves something to be desired, it is useful for getting a general feel for heat patterns. The device's design and interface is refreshingly simple with a power switch, image capture, and USB transfer buttons. In the following clips, I'll take a look at some scenarios where you might find the device useful. So let's see what a Raspberry Pi does when we put the thermal camera on it. Right now it's unpowered, so it shouldn't have any sort of extra, extra heat on it, at least not too much. Power this up and see what happens. So you can see it getting hot just a little bit where the USB connection is. Putting some power in there. Where the shield is actually appears fairly cool. A little surprising. But yeah, you can definitely see where it's heating up around here. And you can kind of see the outline of the board now, which is kind of kind of neat. So this is just standard running, doing a display, and not really doing anything. So again, it's getting pretty pretty hot right there. But not that hot, just 37.4 degrees Celsius, or roughly as a maximum. So to make things more interesting, I'm running a stress test on the Raspberry Pi right now. The, um, let's see, that's pretty hot. So is that, as well as that. So um, if we put that on there, we can see it looks pretty hot there. Um, this and this are saying it's a bit cooler, but I don't know if that's actually true. Could have something to do with the thermal properties of the shield. Either way, it's pretty cool to see this in thermal imaging when it's getting a bit hotter. Externally, it says it's 60, about 60 degrees, though the Raspberry Pi itself is measuring, it's uh, measuring its processor at around 80. So this step around my 3D printer right here, this is the Y-axis stepper. It's uh, measuring in at around, let's see, almost 60 degrees Celsius without a heat sink on it. Now this one over here, it's a bit cooler at around 50, well 55 is kind of varying some. So anyway, yeah, I made this out of um, actually a part from the extruder before. So anyway, it's kind of a makeshift uh, heat, heat sink. So the heat sink is now applied to the top here and it's definitely um, getting hot here. And I guess, let's see, looking at this, you can't see a huge difference. However, you can see the little green spot on the top let's see you can't see the green spot on the top where the heat's heat sink is, is actually getting heating up so I think that's a good thing it shows a little bit effective um, you know maybe when it has a chance to work maybe it'll get a little bit cooler you can see that down there it's now down to like 55 degrees so I think it is getting a little cooler but anyway kind of need to be able to actually visualize that and not just have a feeling for it So according to this, it does appear to still be dissipating some heat. It's, um, let's see. Yeah, you can see it kind of has a bit of a, a shape where it looks like it's going out over there a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the MLX90640 Infrared Thermal Imager. We're giving one away, and if you'd like to enter the contest, check out the video description. A written review of this unit is available on embeddedcomputing.com. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook signing off.